Okay. We are back. Uh, I want to add just a little bit more white in here. White does not, uh, sometimes you have to take white and give it a few more little uh, things because it, when you, when you water white down, it doesn't cover very well. So I'm hitting some, some rough spots here. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, now. Now, for the neck, I want to try sort of a, uh, I want to go with black also, but once again, very light black. smaller brush here very light okay now, for the head, I want to go a little bit further here, and I want to use a red oxide, and then more of a, of a, of a yellow or a brownish thing for the, not, not brownish, but yellow for the beak. Give it a little bit color. All right, I'm going to take my red oxide. And I'm going to get some color in there. Very light red oxide, not a heavy coat, almost like a stain, just to kind of give it from the from the kind of the drab black back here. Because black really isn't that uh, all right. Get down in here. All right. Whoop! Missed a little place on the top up here. Wise, I tell you. All right. Take my black. Get a little spot right in here. Oh boy. Hit my, hit my red with it too much. Okay. Simple painting. 
then I'm going to kind of hit my uh, beak with a little bit of a, and this is called, uh, this is sort of a king's gold is what it is, more of a, it's like a yellow, almost. Which case we're just gonna kind of hit like I said we're just given with the sort of drab uh, go put that over there look at that there we go okay now the feet I wanted to use sort of a orange uh, uh, which is basically a red and a, and a yellow uh, mixed together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow here mix it with a little red and kind of come out with a little orange here just a small bit is all I need it's just sort of a little orange color I'm going to kind of do the uh, feet like that. I'm sorry you can't, it's hard for me to, to show you sometimes, turn it towards you, uh, but now you can kind of probably see it. Now, uh, I want to take my white, you let it dry, and then by now the black is probably pretty dry. And uh, what I want to do is I want to take my white to get this all this off of here, and I want to thin my white down. And I just want to take it. I want to kind of hit these areas that on, along the wings in here, a little bit of the white in here. Okay. I'll show you what I'm doing. Just in there. Told you I like my my uh, pieces to look old. Now, when that dries, I'm going to go over it with a very light black again where it looks like it's just kind of in the and it's, it's looking that way pretty heavy now in other words just bringing a little bit of light to the situation okay and then I'll hit it with a little bit uh, black when it dries otherwise if I hit it too quickly then it's going to turn gray. So I, I, I don't want that really. Okay, my time's up on here and we'll come back to this.